Students from West Monroe's Bowley Elementary are rising from the ashes 10 days after lightning burned their school to the ground. That's right. It's their first day in new schools, both Crosley and George Welch Elementary. NBC 10's Chelsea Jones talked to those parents and those kids to see how they're adjusting. Just a pile of rubble left. The books have burnt. A bunch of paper and ashes are left. Out of the mouth of babes on this unconventional first day of school, Bowley Elementary third grader David Owen says he's got a case of the first day blues. A little nervous and a tiny bit scared, actually. Almost two weeks ago, Bowley Elementary went up in flames, forcing the Bowley Bears to find a new home. Luckily, George Welch and Crossley Elementary Schools were there to answer the call. Owen says he remembers what the fire looked like. We saw a orangish aura. And how it felt. A little sad, I can say. But Tuesday, he and his over 300 schoolmates walked off the buses and through the front doors of their new school. I am excited about actually having somewhere to go to learn things. Bully teachers and students were welcomed by many, including Rachel Chisholm, who says she and her fourth grader know what it's like to be the new kids on the block. We have prayed and I've told my daughter to um, show God's love and show these teachers and students that they're welcome. Although excited about the new school setup, seeing Bowley rise like a phoenix is the ultimate goal. Everybody help Bowley rebuild. I'm hoping they will rebuild it over some of you. Superintendent Dr. Don Coker says the transition has gone very smoothly. He says George Welch has the capacity to hold 700 students, so there's more than enough room for everybody.